मी आता चाललो पी एच डी करायला जर्मनी कस वाटत खूप खूप गर्व वाटतय तुझ्याबद्दल जशी तू इकडे पण भरारी घेतली तशीच तू तुझ्या त्या रिसर्च फील्ड मध्ये सुद्धा उच्च भरारी घेशील ही मला तरी अशी खात्री आहे आय एम व्हेरी हॅपी अँड प्राऊड ऑल्सो बिकॉज यू आर फुलफिलिंग माय ड्रीम्स अँड युअर ड्रीम्स ऑल्सो माझ्या आशीर्वाद तर तुमच्या बरोबरच असेल असतले नाही आनंद झालो त्रास काढून पुढे वैते नो आणि आनंद झालो मग इतक्या जाय तू बरो राह मित्र तुझे असतात ते बरे जाय सगळं आणि पुढे तू बरो शिक आणि बरो राह आणि बरो अभ्यास बी आपला आपला काय आता अभ्यास करून बरं पुढे वाचा आणि इतकं आपला आशीर्वाद तुमचा बरं करून राह फोन करता तुम्ही मला फोन करा विसरलो fine and you can see me and hear me properly so now that we have found a, a nice quiet place where we can just sit and discuss uh, hi hi guys i'm rishikesh edgaonkar from goa i'll be joining the university of wurzburg for my phd studies in astrophysics uh, so this video is basically to capture my journey from india to germany i have been interested in astronomy since my childhood and i think that's the case for everyone so astronomy after all is one of the older science and we are naturally inquisitive about the mysteries and workings behind the universe while i was in school i used to watch his documentaries on national geographic and discovery channel on the universe and black holes etc and i used to throw around these complex words like neutron stars space time relativity etc just to show off Uh, but i also remember going out in my backyard pointing with a simple point and shoot camera and trying to capture constellations and star trails the journey of mine from a naive kid who used to just click photos of stars with a simple camera to now where i'll be studying relativistic jets coming from supermassive black holes at the center of active galaxies using a radio telescope spread over the entire europe right that's a mouthful but this journey has been one hell of a journey and i'll share it with you guys so hopefully it will motivate you and help you in your journey so as as i had mentioned up to class 12th in goa i had pursued astronomy just as a hobby nothing more than that but that changed when i joined bits pilani pilani campus over there i pursued my masters in physics and bachelor's in computer science as a part of the dual degree program over there I have a modest CGPA of 7.7 so I'm by no means a scholar but to compensate for that I have lot of projects and internships under my belt and that did help me a lot. Bits Pilani provided me ample of exposure and lot of opportunities to interact with people who had done some amazing work in different fields. So that naturally motivated me to look beyond the conventional path where you are supposed to just complete your education, take up a job and then continue working in the same job for years. Uh, so it motivated me to explore myself and also explore different fields with proper guidance from my professors and also my seniors i could now see astronomy as something more than just a hobby follow this interest of mine in astrophysics i gradually started applying for research internships in projects in some of the top institutes in india like the inter university center for astronomy and astrophysics that's in that's ayuka in pune national center for radio astrophysics ncr again in pune Raman Research Institute in Bangalore. Uh, this is how I built my profile. Don't get me wrong, I wasn't applying to these institutes to build a profile that would land me a good PhD. That was never my goal. My motivation for applying to this internship was purely out of my interest and my uh, profile that just started to take shape on its own. These internships gave me an opportunity to work with some top astronomers on different interesting astronomical objects like brown dwarfs, neutron stars, etc. I'll put up a timeline of my uh, research experience over here. You can take you can pause the video, look at the institutes which I visited and, and what work I did over there. One drawback of immersing myself in so many research internships and projects was that by the end of my course at Bits Pilani, uh, I had zero industrial experience. So in my final year, I decided to seek for placements and explore the corporate life. 
uh, fortunately I got placed at Reliant Geo. Uh, over there I worked as a software developer in the new commerce technologies team. My job was to build reliable and scalable backend systems based on the microservice architecture. Yeah, from that, uh, now for my PhD studies, I'll be looking into ultra relativistic jets uh, emitted by supermassive black holes at the center of active galaxies. So, as I mentioned, it's been one hell of a roller coaster ride. I just finished submitting my documents at BSF Mumbai. Uh, after that, I just came to Marine Drive, which is probably the most famous place in Mumbai. It's I had planned to make the video over here, but it's pretty noisy out here, so we'll move to a quieter place and I'll explain the entire process over there. But before we leave, I found probably the best fountain at uh, Marine Drive. Yes. The visa process for me was long and tedious. After my PhD offer was confirmed in 2nd week of November, I took uh, some days to confirm the visa application process, talk to people and finally booked an appointment on 28th of November. Then I didn't hear anything from VSS for the next 3 months. I was a victim of their really messed up appointment system. Anyways, I finally got an appointment on February 2nd. The process went well, there were lots of documents which I had to submit and I would advise you to talk to people uh, beforehand who have gone through the same process for the same visa category at your application center. Uh, apart from that everything else went fine and just in a week I got my visa so that was really fast. Hey, hello again. So yesterday on 9 Feb I got a mail from PFF that my visa has been processed and they have dispatched the parcel. So today I received the parcel. I'm hoping this is the approved visa and given that I had submitted the documents at VFS Mumbai on just 2nd February, I got this just within 8 days. So yeah, I think the process was pretty fast after submitting my documents. start today is 5th March exactly a week before I fly to Germany on 12th and I've already started experiencing a plethora of emotions it's been exactly two years since work from home has started due to the pandemic and obviously I'll miss spending time with my family I'll miss annoying my mother on simple things I'll miss working with my dad on household errands I'll miss the masti that we do with Bhaiya and Babi. I'll also miss con constantly being bitten by Robin and being scratched by Peru. Obviously, I've grown very fond of them over the pandemic and they are like my children. I'll also miss Goa. It's really beautiful. Probably not the humid weather, but I, I will miss the sun. I have a rough idea of the destination of where I want to go. But I have never been there. I have talked to other people who have hiked in a similar terrain and I have prepared myself accordingly. I know I'll find fruits and water on the trail, but for backup, I have carried my own food and water. I also have mapped with a GPS in the form of parents, teachers, professors, guides, who will ensure that I'm not lost at any point. I'll also meet other hikers going on their own trails and will enjoy the time that we get to spend together. Sometimes I'll lose the GPS signal. Sometimes I'll slip and fall, but I need to pick myself up and continue this journey with small steps at my own pace. And this journey is very subjective and personal. Your journey would be different from mine. Our destinations are different. 
की बाबा एवढं छान जॉब आमच्या वेळी तरी आम्ही सोडून दुसरीकडे जम्प मारली नसती पण तू ही रिस्क घेतोस म्हणजे तुझा तुझ्यावर विश्वास आहे तुझ्या आडवकवर कष्टावर तुझा विश्वास आहे आणि माझा पण विश्वास आहे की तू ते साध्य करणार जीवनात कुठचीही रिस्क घेतल्याशिवाय उंच भरारी मारू शकतच नाही कोणी असू ते रिस्क घ्यावीच लागते डीप फॅली आहे तिथं उंच डोंगर पण असतोच एकदम बेस्ट खूप आनंद झाला शब्दांत सांगू शक्य ना सो आय होप आय फ्री टू द गॉड दॅट एव्हरीथिंग यू विल यू विल एन्जॉय युअर स्टडीज युअर रिसर्च अँड वन डे यू विल शाईन लाईक अ सन ओके अँड आउट ऑफ दॅट सन वॉट एव्हर द एनर्जी कम्स आउट इट विल बी हेल्पफुल फॉर द सोसायटी दॅट इज वॉट आय मीन टू सी राईट सो थँक्यू थँक्स अ लॉट गॉड ब्लेस यू Hey. Hi. Good morning, I guess. I just woke up and it's already 11:45. So, yeah. The good thing is I won't face any issues in Germany because of the time difference because I think I'm already running by the German time. Uh, yeah, it's 11th March, less than 24 hours before I leave home for Germany. Frankly, I didn't sleep well last night. mostly because of nervous excitement mixed with a little bit of anxiety i guess i don't have any butterflies in my stomach but i do have lot of kaju katlis <laughs> yeah so lot of relatives are visiting me so i do get lot of sweets and i'm trying to put on lot of insulation fat to prepare for the cold over there I don't have much to do today. I'm done with most of my packing. I just need to get some printouts and photocopies of important documents and then uh, get the RT-PCR test done. Yeah, that's it. I'll let you know how this day goes. So yeah I'm here in Frankfurt and my best friend Alina is here to meet me and Hi. her better half Sorry for missing your wedding I mean it was in Kerala and it was during a time when Kerala was on fire yeah due to covid so yeah. yeah Anyways Alina you've been calling me to Germany and I'm finally here into research leaving a corporate job how do you feel about it <laughs> So I should ask you how do you feel about it but I'm really excited to have you here I hope we will have a very good time and uh-huh. so you will have a fruitful uh, research career ahead and all the best Anyways thanks a lot for coming over here to receive me thanks a lot for showing me around Sure anytime <laughs> Okay yeah. bye bye Certainly <laughs> Das ist Lenny und das ist Jonas. They are my flatmates over here. So we live in a WG, a shared apartment. So why don't you guys introduce yourselves? Okay. Uh, so my name is Jonas. Um, I'm 22 years old and 
I studied computer science here in Würzburg and uh, I've been living here for about three years now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm Lenny, I'm 24, I'm doing my master's in information systems and I did my bachelor also here in Würzburg, so I'm here for about four years now. Mm -hmm. So yeah, masters, bachelors, sorry, bachelors, masters and PhD, so <laughs> we have all the degrees over here. I'm finally glad that we are doing this after two months. I'm really sorry for procrastinating this, but <laughs> every day over here is a learning experience and I wanted to include as much points as I could. So, yeah, diving right into the most important question that all the viewers would have is how do you find an apartment in Germany? Because personally, from my experience, finding an apartment was more difficult than finding a PhD. So, yeah, uh, maybe you could give some tips on like uh, what are the things that you consider while looking for a roommate. Uh, yeah, I can definitely see where you're coming from. This is, the housing market is... Uh, yeah, it's, it's tough over here um, in the cities and um, yeah, I think it's important when you write your application that you are specific in who you are mm -hmm. um, so that people can, you know, re relate to you in the best case and if they don't, they, they just don't and they, you know, choose someone else but I think mm -hmm. if you write enough applications you will find someone and some people that would really enjoy having you around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's also quality over quantity, so write some good applications with a personal touch, read the offers really carefully, the descriptions, because we put a secret question mm -hmm. in our offer where, where we ask for the favorite color of the people, so if they don't read our description and just copy-paste their applications, mm -hmm. we don't consider them as mm -hmm. future flatmates, so make sure to read the descriptions and yeah, use this information for your application so you can have a basic framework to work around and then I think that's the best way to introduce yourself to other people. When you just shift over here, it's a new city with uh, a new language so you would be uh, like, you would tend to stay alone in your room, do not do that, just get out, go for a walk, uh, hang out with your roommates, hang out with the people at the institute. It helps just to talk to people, just to socialize. So to quote Carl Sagan, one of my um, role models and a very famous astronomer, he says that the only thing that makes this emptiness bearable is each other. So follow his words, socialize. Hey folks, thanks for watching the video. This journey of mine has been truly amazing. Hope you enjoyed this journey with me and I hope this helps you in your journey as well. Good luck. If you have any doubts, any comments, feel free to reach out to me directly on my Instagram underscore guy behind the lens and you can also comment down below. Ciao! Bienvenido a Alemania. Servus Rishi. Ciao Rishi, benvenuto. Ciao Rishi, benvenuto in Germania. Sei Rishi, Germania?